Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and welcome to our sports show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. GCW Bad One and The G Code happened a couple weeks ago, 914 and 915. I'm just getting the reviews up now. I actually still need to watch Aurora and Back to Back, which happened on 920 and 921. Um, the next GCW show will be on October 16th. Oh, no, sorry, October 12th. Um, same day as AEW Wrestle Dream. We got GCW Fight Club Day One, the Art of War Games there in Atlantic City. Um, so we'll get uh, Aurora and back to back watched and reviewed between now and then, and get ready for Fight Club. And then we got War Ready, and we got Blood in the Hills, and we're just on from there through the end of the year. Um, two big shows that were announced the end of November the 29th and December 1st: GCW The Fi in Progress teaming up for Brooklyn and Chicago. So those ought to be a heck of a lot of fun. So yeah, a lot of good stuff for GCW coming up for the rest of the year. So this is going to be GCW The G Code. Um, happened on, like I said, September 15th at Water Street Music Hall there in Rochester, New York. Um, they announced the return to Rochester, New York will be on January 10th. I believe that will be the first show of 2025 unless they do something the weekend before. Um, which the weekend before we already have Wrestle Kingdom and then Wrestle Dynasty AEW there in Tokyo Dome. All right, the first match on the G Code was going to be to Empathy and Beyond, Cheech and Colin Delaney taking on the Pillars, Malcolm Monroe the Third and Tommy Vendetta. Just a nice little tag match, um, nothing too crazy. Just kind of one of those shows give you that little taste of wrestling and. You just sit back and go, oh, that was fun. 13 minutes, 11 seconds, three and a quarter star, to infinity and beyond in the victory there. Uh, next up, we have the JCW, the Jersey Championship Wrestling title on the line. Champion Masha Slamovich taking on Man Like Darius. I say 0-1, you say 2-1, 0-1, 2-1. Um, one of the top tier tag teams there in Red Pro and Progress in the independent scene of the British, British independent scene. Um, a lot of Matt wrestling to start this match out, which was kind of weird because typically Mosh is more about striking. Man like Man like Darius is more about the high flying. Um, Darius ended up slamming Mosh into the uh, announce table um, into the turnbuckle as well. Um, so they kind of got they kind of ramped. They did a lot of Matt wrestling, then they kind of ramped it up a little bit. Um, but 50, a little shy of 15 minutes, Masha Slamovich was able to get the victory on Man Like Darius. Ended up giving it three and a half star. Next up, we had a four-way match. We had Sawyer Rack, Burke Havoc, Dark Sheik, and Maki Ito. Havoc and uh, Sawyer Rack um, ended up sitting in the ring crying. And then you had Havoc kiss Dark Sheik during all this. And then you had, when Havoc kissed the Sheik, you had Havoc low blow Sheik. And, yeah, it got a little weird from there as well. Um, yeah, just everyone crying. I'm like, what the hell are we telling you? What is this? I just didn't understand it. Um, I ended up giving it two and a half star with Soyerak getting the victory. Uh, next up, we had Gringo Loco and Zillafot 2. I do believe that... This was Zilpha 2's last GCW match. Now, what's confusing to me is there is rumor that he had signed with NXT. And he is done with the independent scene after 31 matches. Which, you know, sometimes you, you, when you get in your bloodline, you kind of know. The thing is, he is the, the House of Glory Crown Jewel Champion. So, I don't know, and he's also the ring, uh, Reality of Wrestling World Champion. So, I don't know if he's going to drop those, or if he's going to be able to... Fit. And now, the Reality of Wrestling, they do shows with some NXT guys, so that I could still see him doing that. But House of Glory, I don't know. Um, so, that's going to be interesting to see where where those titles go and what happens there if he did officially sign with AEW or WWE, I mean. I saw one of the rumors was AEW as well. I'm assuming he goes to WWE, he's going to be part of Bloodline with Roman Reigns uh, when Roman turns on um, Phyllis Sequoia. 
But that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens. But if this, if this was his last GCW match, he went out with a bang against Gringo Loco. Uh, Fatu dives to the outside. Samoan drop through a door bridge. Um, when you Samo Samoa drop somebody as big as Gringo Loco through a door bridge, I really hope you're going to win the match, in which he did. 15 minutes, 41 seconds. I give it three and a half star. Uh, next up, we had Vince Baller taking on Rare Willington. Short, sweet, to the point, three minutes and five seconds. Vince Valor getting the victory. I ended up giving it one and three-quarter star match. Um, it was just one of those matches where it just never got off the ground. And, of course, three-minute match. Um, unless you know it's going to go three minutes, it's kind of like what just happened here kind of deal. Vince Valor getting the victory there. Next up, we had two young high lines, a guy we recently saw on AEW television, Marcus Mathers. Um, we saw him on Collision last week, taking on Alec Price. Um, whoo, whoo, whoo. These two put on a clinic. Um, great high flying match. Alec Price did a. He got to the back of the stage, ran into the ring, jumped up, did a 420 into a DDT on Mathers to get the victory. It was just out of this world move three and three quarter star match for Alec Price and Marcus Mathers that's the only negative part that when I see a Marcus Mathers or somebody like that on a GCW you know it's going to be more of a squash match but knowing how good he is it's like it kind of hurts it's like oh my god Marcus Mathers and Joe Keys on the tag match on collision and they get just annihilated it's like oh Marcus Mathers is better than that but I understand um but yeah three and three quarter star with Alec Price getting the victor there Next up, we had uh, Joe Jella taking on Danhausen. Yeah, they t they teamed together at back one. What was the name of that show? Bad one. And then here they are facing each other. Typical Danhausen match. He got the teeth, the jar of the teeth out, poured it in Janela. He tried to curse Janela, and yeah, Janela ends up getting the victory. I ended up giving it three and a quarter. Kind of a fun match to watch. Uh, next up, we had Too Tough Tony, who was supposed to have Pondo and Madman Pondo as a tag team partner, but he was stuck because of the weather and airplane cancellation. So he took on High Seas, Cloud, and Nick Gando two on one. Then we had Violent J end up coming out a little bit into the match and made it a come out and made it a death match. And so we had Two Tough Tony and Violent J now teaming up, taking on High Seas. Match only lasted 7 minutes and 36 seconds. Um, and I ended up getting the victory to, the victory went to Two Tough Tony and Violent J. I give it two and a quarter star. And then the main event of this show was six man tag, one called Manders, Effie, and Megan Bain, taking on Deathmatch Royalty, Bruschi, Jamie, Mance, Warner, and Matt Cardona. Um, that's what led to the Art of War Games match. So right now, the Art of War Games, their War Games for GCW is going to be Manders, Effie, Janela, and Bane taking on Broski, Jimmy Mance, Warner, Matt Cardona, and a mystery partner. Um, it's because of this match. Um, after the match, Deathmatch Royalty attacked Manders, Effie, and Bane. And Janela came out, and that's what led to the challenge for the match. Who the mystery partner is for Deathmatch Royalty? I honestly don't know. I mean, it could be PCO. It could be Jinder Mahal, maybe. A Roz Desi, whatever his name is, because he's been feuding with Effie. And I could see him part of Deathmatch Royalty, but we'll find out on 10-12 there at Fight Club when that's announced who that is they're the showboat in Atlantic City but that is GCW the G-Code um, as always thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show from your from the independent scene to the main event of Wrestlemania don't just have a great day have a spiffy day Robert Sports Show your YouTube leader sports show content